When I was about 10 years old, I went to my first auto race out in Long Island, New York. Uh, one of the souvenirs I was able to take home was a comic book uh, biography around the Richard Petty or Petty family. I literally fell in love with racing, going to that first race, and then lived vicariously through that book and whatever I could see on TV at the time. Fast forward about 15 years later, walking through some type of rummage sale in Greenwich Village in the Lower East Side, came across a used copy of this book, Kyle at 200 miles an hour, a biography of a race season for Kyle Petty. And I always thought it was funny because we had the same name and just kept the book because of the cover alone. And who would have thought that so many years later it would be this Kyle that's almost going 200 miles an hour around the track. I got the greatest birthday gift of all time this year and I hate birthdays. So I hate people fussing and saying happy birthday, I hate the gifts, I hate being the center of attention. But Mary and Jess came through this year. They got me a gift that I had been waiting for and wanting to do forever. As long as we've lived in this area and going out to Daytona on a regular basis for races, this has been a dream. Hey everyone, back Daytona International Speedway this morning. Extremely excited. We've got the girls here, slow pan. <laughs> they have gifted me for my birthday one of my dream things, which is to be able to ride around the track in a race car going about 170 miles an hour. NASCAR race experience has existed for the last 20 years, and with 20 years I looked at this with longing eyes and today is the day. They have two options. You can either ride along with another professional driver, get you up to about 170 miles an hour, or you can go behind the wheel yourself, take a class, and that gets you up to about 150 miles an hour. I'm not so sure about driving myself and potential of wrecking a half a million dollar race car. <laughs> so, out here to get the experience to see what it's really like going 170, give you an idea during the Daytona 500 average speed about 184 miles an hour top speed around 197 miles an hour or so there's also different options that you can purchase in-car camera the amount of laps that you want to do we're doing three laps around the track today you can do six you could do all different types of lanes that you can go as well depending on how much you actually want to pay because the price does go up significantly depending on how many laps you're doing an idea of pricing as of the time that we're recording this video in March of 2024. So first stop, we're getting fitted with helmets. And we're waiting for cars to come in. Just beat your favorite driver. I don't know if that side view mirror is regulation. We're about to break it through inspection. This is 
All right, we're going in the Coréal de Joy, number seven.
All right, so that was a very fast, very intense three minutes. Uh, probably one of the, not even probably, definitely one of the most amazing things I've ever done in my entire life. Just. How did it feel to win the race? <laughs> we go fast. <laughs> what are your plans now? I'm gonna go check out who preceded me in winning the Daytona 500 in the Hall of Fame, <laughs> the museum. No, but uh, all kidding aside, um, the driver's name was Jim. Uh, you don't choose the car that you're going in. So uh, we got stuck with Corey LaJoy and uh, they had other options. They had like classic Jimmy uh, on the track, but I think he was a driving uh, Jimmy. Driving car. They had uh, William Byron as a driving car, uh, Bubba as a ride along. Was and um, that was William Byron. Oh. And uh, also um, Danny Hamlin who beat your favorite driver. But uh, so cool, just uh, unique, being able to get into that car <laughs> with that gigantic bubble helmet on. Yeah. If you feel ridiculous wearing that helmet, but uh, they strap you in tight also, which thank God, because you know, uh, going around that first, uh, the first lap, going in turn one, like you feel the car, like literally kind of sliding into the groove. And all I thought was like, wow, damn dude, that wall is super close. So uh, here's, here's to Jim because he drove that car like a badass and we passed Jimmy Johnson on the track. Yeah. That was, uh, that was pretty cool. I saw my life flash in front of my eyes thinking <laughs> you don't realize like how narrow that track is until you're going around it. And then you start to realize like when you're watching these guys here and they're three wide yeah. and you know, 10 deep, like with just centimeters in between them, just how ridiculously dangerous things are when you're going 170, 190 miles an hour. And you know, this was 170 miles an hour. I, I wow, <laughs> I can't recommend this enough. Uh, it is super expensive and I thank both of these girls for the gift. But it and they is, only have it like once a month, like for two days. So yeah. it's very, very limited. It used to be the Richard Petty driving experience. Then I think it was like the Rusty Wallace experience. And uh, they used to have exotic cars in addition to like uh, NASCARs and, the, you know, the, the stock cars. And now it's uh, just run through NASCAR itself, I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, Whatever they charge, it is well worth it. You're not going to be able to do this anywhere else. Daytona International Speedway was a dream for me to be able to get to here uh, 20 years ago when we moved here. Mm -hmm. I've often said to Mary and to Jess, like, the day comes that I'm no longer here, I want my ashes spread here, too, at least part <laughs> of them. Like, I love this place. It is hollowed ground, and it is amazing to have been part of this. So I just, that's it. Thanks a lot for coming it's along. Yeah. From here. <laughs> Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. We'll see you guys.